if we have a solid or a liquid, we're, we don't have table data available to calculate the entropy. So we need some sort of relationship that we can use to calculate the change in entropy if we're dealing with a solid or a liquid. And so what we're going to do is start with the following TDS relationship. So TDS is equal to du plus p dv. And what I want to point out with this is, first of all, the specific volume. So this is the specific volume is normally really small for a solid or liquid. So remember, this is just the inverse of the density. And also, if we're dealing with a solid or a liquid, it's often incompressible. So solids and liquids are often incompressible. So basically, dv is going to approximately be zero because since it's incompressible, it's not going to change much. So then this relationship becomes TDS is equal to du. And then we already know that, so du is equal to CdT. So C is the specific heat. And so what we can do is solve, the, solve this for ds, because ds is really what we're looking for, the change in entropy. So the change in entropy is equal to C dt over t. Now we have a, an equation that we can use to calculate the entropy, but we have kind of a problem, because in order to integrate C over T dt, we need a we need a relationship between the specific heat and temperature. Basically, we need the specific heat as a function of temperature, which we don't have. We do have heat capacity data available for a variety of temperatures. So what we're going to do is assume that we have a constant heat capacity. So assume constant heat capacity. And once you assume constant heat capacity, you can take the heat capacity, or C, out of the integration and then integrate. So basically, we're going to end up with ds is equal to 1 to 2. So this is just going to be S2 minus S1. And this is equal to C dt over t. And then since C is constant, we can pull it out. So C to 2 dt over t. And then we can just integrate this to get C natural log t2 over t1. So basically, we get that S, the change in entropy, S2 minus S1, is equal to C natural log t2 over t1. So this is the equation that you're going to use to calculate the change in entropy for a solid or liquid. So change in entropy for solid or liquid. And you're going to use if so you're going to use C at the average temperature if available. If it's not available, then you'll use it at room temp. So C at room temp if, I'm just going to say T average is not available.